hello everybody so today i'm going to show you how you can download and install uh, resharper which is a product from jetbrains uh, so using resharper you can quickly develop code uh, find out issues uh, generate automated code uh, and uh, do a code review so you can do a lot of things so it has uh, quite a few features uh, so if you're interested uh, in this uh, I can uh, show you in this video a few of the uh, features that this uh, provides. Uh, so after I download and install, I will open Visual Studio uh, and then show you uh, how you can uh, you can how you can use this uh, resharper. Okay, so first you go to your uh, uh, search engine and then uh, search here like download resharper. So here, then click on this first link. Uh, you will uh, so you can say accept all and then here uh, you can see there is a 30 day trial so no evolution key required so and then just click on download so once it is downloaded it will appear here on your computer so double click this so this uh, interface will open up here you can see uh, there are other things also available uh, but we are interested in resharper so and we want to install this right so, so so install is selected by default so keep it as it is uh, and here you can see i have visual studio 2022 so that is getting highlighted here uh, if you have any other versions that is also fine this will uh, work this tutorial will work for all the previous versions as well so that the technique is same uh, so this will be highlighted here visual studio 2022 so and then click on this uh, last checkbox now if you want to know how to download and, and install uh, visual studio 2022 i have a video on that i will provide the link in the description box so once you have selected this click on next so now you will see this uh, window here so click on install okay so now the resapper has been uh, installed so let's open visual studio 2022 or whatever version of Visual Studio you have. If you have 2019 or earlier versions, you just open it. So once uh, Visual Studio 2022 or any the, whatever version you have, Visual Studio of uh, Visual Studio is open. Uh, just click on Create a New Project. And here, uh, what I will do is I'll create a sample application. Um, so I will create a ASP.NET uh, Core application. Uh, so select this one. Click on Next. And here's let me give a name to this and then click on next here .NET 6.0 uh, i'll use this and leave rest of the rest of the things as it is click on create so now the project is open so you can see a page like this uh, what's new in resharper you will find some important information here you can go through this information to understand uh, you know there is uh, some documentation provided uh, so you can uh, understand this uh, what you can do is you can also go here to extensions on top and you should, you should see resharper here okay and these options available uh, you can also go to manage extensions and in this uh, here in the installed uh, section you should be able to see uh, resharper so here you can see jetbrains resharper uh, this version is installed and it is enabled so let's close this and close this as well so let's open for example this uh, program file and uh, what i will now do is uh, show you some uh, uh, how to search uh, for a particular uh, item okay so what you do is uh, hit control t okay so now you can see see a box like this now let's say i am searching for uh, a page right so or some text like static 
so it has given me a lot of options here where static is shown now you can see it is used in a lot of places so perhaps this is not a uh, good example for this demo maybe i can say static files so you can see some such certain things came up here plus in the in the bottom you can see that it is used in program.cs so app.use statistics uh, static files so if you click on this this will take you here and it will be highlighted like this so uh so this is so very useful tool uh, to search something across uh visual studio uh, across your visual studio project and it will help you to do it very quickly so the next thing i am going to show you is to uh, how to find a dead code so for that i will create a small class here so add new item uh, let's uh, give a name to this class like student so now this class is created uh, let me create a variable private underscore so it should be a string so private string student name and uh now i will so i have created a constructor like this uh and uh, now you can see that the problem is if you take take your mouse cursor here it will show that field student name is assigned but it is its value is never used uh, so which means uh, we have assigned it so inside inside the constructor but within the rest of the uh, class structure it is not used so for example if i have a method public uh, So I can have something like this, okay. So where I am doing uh, certain things, for example, I am returning just uh, return something, yeah. So, uh, so what will happen here is that this l okay twenty, so it's string. So now this is a, this is a class like this. You can have multiple properties or methods in your class, but you can see that the student name is not used anywhere. So what you do is how ReSarpo will help you is uh, so it, it is it is telling you that this is assigned but the value is not used. Now you can take your cursor there and then hit uh, Alt Enter. Okay, when you hit Alt Enter, you can see that some options like this comes up. Okay, so which suggests what you can do with this. Uh, so you can uh, remove this unused field or you can make it internal protected like this. Some uh, suggestions are coming up okay so this is another use of uh, resharper uh, so this helps you to find uh, dead code uh, let's uh, see uh, something else uh, let's see what else can it do let's create another method here so let's uh, take another example uh, here and i will show you uh, what else we can do with uh, resharper so for example here uh, you can see i have done this like i have written i have created a method but there is nothing in this method so here if you click on this so an icon will come up like this so you click on this and you can see some suggestions coming up okay so i have not hit any key or anything so it is just i clicked here and then this icon is coming up here so with the accent list uh, similarly if i click here you can see this icon is coming up here so you can also do that or you can do like alt enter as well okay so you take the click your cursor here and then alt enter so that is also it will directly open this uh, small menu here uh, now in this example i want to show how you can uh, write some try catch okay so let's say x is equal to 10 
So let's say I have a code like this. Here I have written a code like this. So if I want to, let's say surround this with a try catch. So take your cursor here and then control E and then U. Okay, so then you will get this kind of menu. So what you can do here is, so select try and you can see a try catch block coming up. Okay, then you can modify this. If you want to log something here, you can modify this, but this is a shortcut. So whatever code you want to surround with, uh, you know, try catch, you can select that code and then control E and U. Uh, so this will, this is how it will come up. So now these are some of the uh, use of uh, resharper, but there are lots of other things which you can do. Uh, you can do automated code review. Uh, you can uh, do like you can create types. You can uh, do uh, like there are a lot of new features like uh, you can re reduce the complexity of uh, certain uh, methods or uh, code logic. Uh, you can simplify your object creation. So like this, uh, there is a lot more you can do uh, using G Sharper, I will recommend you to go through the uh, JetBrains documentation and you will find a lot of this kind of examples. I uh, hope this video has helped you today. Uh, if so, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.